Share screen. Select my screen. Can you guys see this? Ready? Let's start. Uh, one, two, three. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Pixel Studio. Now you know session where we share interesting information so that you can learn a thing or two about anything. Cultures, technologies, hobbies, food and everything under the sun. It's all about discovering, learning and enjoying as we go along. Uh, at the end of the sharing, we'll have a fun quiz to reinforce learning. So do join us for that session and participate along with the team. For today's session, we have myself who will share some facts about our, our solar, solar system. system okay so without further ado let's go today i'm going to share with you on the subject of astronomy because i'm very intrigued with this uh, subject uh, knowing what's uh, beyond earth is there a place out there where we can live so let's move on why is it called the solar system because everything in it is centered around the sun which is uh, one of the stars out there uh, in space the word solar derived from the word Sun. So for today's sharing, I'm going to focus on sharing some facts about the planets in our solar system. Let's move on to the first one. This is not a planet. Huh? This is actually, the sun is our star actually. Uh, also known as uh, the yellow dwarf star. Why dwarf? Because the sun, even though it's big, uh, it's not one of the biggest things in the universe. Uh, it's the largest, of course, within our solar system. Almost like 99.8% of the system mass. It is a hot ball of glowing gases, hydrogen and helium. H and HE, uh, chemical symbol. The sun does not have a solid surface. So the sun is located at the center of our solar system and the earth and other planets orbits around it. The earth is around like 150 million kilometers away la, from it. The sun magnetic field spreads throughout the solar system via solar winds and its uh, gravity is the one that keeps all the other planets where they are. Make sense, right? Okay, the connection and interconnection between the sun and the earth drives our seasons, ocean currents, uh what else climates weather and what you see in aurora i think i've uh, experienced seeing the aurora so this is also partly part of the sun la. though uh it is special to us there are uh, billions of stars out there and ours is just dwarf okay uh, it is around 4.5 billion years old and more than uh, 100 times wider than earth if it's a jar you can fit maybe around a million earth in it Next, we'll go to Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system and the one just beside the Sun. Mercury is only slightly larger than our Moon, the Earth Moon. Uh, despite its proximity to the Sun, Mercury is not the hottest planet. Why? Because Mercury do not have an atmosphere. So it has no way of trapping the heat from the Sun that is generated by the Sun. You know, it's like heat and all this variation, you need a medium to transfer. But they don't have an atmosphere, so that's why uh, it cannot trap all this uh, heat inside. Lah. Though it's not the hottest planet, it is still second place uh, because it's near the sun. Uh, okay? So Mercury is the fastest planet that orbits around the sun. Uh. It zips around like, the sun every like, 88 Earth days. So what does this mean? It means uh, one year in Mercury is around 88 days only. For us, we have 365 days. Right? Mercury is only 88 days. It has no moon. Temperature can be boiling, the one that's facing the sun. And the one that's not facing the sun can be icy. It looks like the moon, la. you can see, la, all right? uh, but smaller than Earth la, and has a rocky surface. And Mercury is known as the Roman god of speed. La. The next one is Venus, Roman goddess of love. Second planet from the sun. Some people call it the Earth sister. Why? Because its size and gravity are similar to Earth. It spins slowly, funny thing, in the opposite direction from most planets. It is the hottest planet in our solar system because it has a thick atmosphere of carbon dioxide, CO2, that helps it trap the heat and stay warmer than Mercury, which is the closest planet to the sun. Now. It has a very thick atmosphere, but not the one that you can breathe because it's mostly carbon dioxide, meaning oxygen. There are clouds of uh, sulfuric acids which uh, result in acid rain. Venus uh, is the second brightest object in the night sky. You can see it with your naked eyes or during dusk and dawn, uh, you can actually see Venus. It's very obvious. Uh, so it's like a ball of bright star. Its length of year is not 365 days, it's 225 days. Next one, we have the third planet from the sun, which is Earth. As far as we know, it's the only planet that is habited by living things. Uh, there's sun, there's surface water for things to survive. And uh, we are living on it. Uh, just to remind you if you're not aware. <laughs> 
It's the fifth largest planet in our solar system with liquid water on the surface. Okay, the key word is on the surface. Uh, the rest of the other planet, yeah, there's some water, but it's not on the surface. It's below in the form of ice and stuff like that. All the four planets closest to the sun uh, are all made from rocks and metal. We have gravity that is uh, what keeps us to the ground and not floating around. Anything that has uh, mass also has gravity. Uh, some signs I just should share with you guys. Uh. Objects with more mass have more gravity. So gravity also gets uh, weaker with distance. So the, the closer objects are to each other, the stronger their gravitational pull. Uh. But uh, just to share uh, on a bit on science. Uh. Uh, Earth's gravity comes from all its masses. It, all its masses makes a combined gravitational pull on the mass itself in your body. That's what gives you your weight. So uh, if you were in another other planet, like what I mentioned earlier, uh, with less mass than Earth, you would weigh less than you do here. You exert the same gravitational force on Earth that it does on you. But because Earth is so much massive than you, your force doesn't really have an effect on our Earth. Lah. So now you know. Let's move on to the next one, which is Mars, also known as the Roman God of War. All right. Uh, known as the Red Planet. Why? Because there's iron oxide, a material like rust in its soil, giving it a reddish color. It is smaller than Venus and Earth, but larger than Mercury. It is cold and rocky with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and oxygen, CO2 and O2. There is water in the form of ice lah, on Mars, making it a planet where we can possibly live in with the help of special equipment. Lah. Currently right now, rockets and probes have uh, already been sent there. And I think there's robots going around Mars right now, then sending information or video footage of photos down to Earth for scientists to study that planet even more. Lah. So if something happens to Earth, uh, I think there's the only planet that we can travel to, which is not so far away. So between Mars and Jupiter, there's this asteroid belt. So that's why it's very hard to go way past uh, Mars because of this asteroid belt. That one, I'll show you a picture later. Okay, that's about Mars. Let's move on to the next planet after Mars, which is Jupiter, which also known as the king of the Roman gods. Oh, gods. Lah. The largest planet in our solar system. This is Jupiter more than twice as massive as uh, all the other planets combined. You need 11 Earth placed side by side just to stretch it across the middle of Jupiter. Uh, it is also called a gas giant because it is made of gas. Uh, the familiar stripes on what you see on your screen here and the swirls are actually cold windy clouds of ammonia water, uh, a bit of water floating in the atmosphere. Also hydrogen and helium, H and HE. Uh, it's the third brightest object in the night sky after Venus and Moon. And you can see it uh, if you know how to spot it using your naked eye. It has like, uh, check this out, 67 moons circling around it. Uh, 55 of them are quite small. Uh, it's like the size of a mountain or much smaller. But uh, some of its moons can be very large, about the size of uh, Mercury. And some of its large moons can be seen using a telescope. So there, and then there's also a huge storm, that red dot. That is actually a storm, famous one. The, they call it the Red Great Spot Storm. And that storm has been going on for at least 200 years. Yeah, that's Jupiter. Moving on, we have Saturn, the one with the ring. Uh, this one is also called the father of Jupiter. Right? Saturn is another gas giant made of hydrogen and helium as well. Uh, six planet from the sun has beautiful rings made out of uh, usually ice, dust particles, and rocks. So it looks solid, but actually it's not. Okay, it has uh, many moons, sixty moons. Some large as Mercury, and it's second largest planet in our solar system after Jupiter, lah. So Saturn is the furthest planet that you can see from Earth without a telescope lah, or with your naked eye, lah. One year in Saturn is equivalent to twenty nine point five five Earth years. Yeah, so that's Saturn. Next one is Uranus, known as the Greek god of the sky. No, no more Roman. It's the Greek god of the sky. Another gas giant, but slightly smaller than Saturn. Rotates at nearly 90 degrees on its side. Lah. So this guy is like saying it. Lah. This unique tilt makes Uranus uh, appear to spin on its side. Also known as a sideway planet. It has rings also, but smaller than Saturn. Uh, covered in blue cloud due to methane and it's the seventh planet from the sun. It's actually an ice planet because of the gas and stuff and because it's cold because it's further away from the sun. So it's cold, so become ice, lah, okay? It's the first planet found with an aid of a telescope in 1781 by astronomer Herschel, William Herschel. So one year in Uranus is equivalent to 84 Earth years. The next one is Neptune. This is the Roman god of the sea. Dark cloud and whipped by supersonic uh, winds, ice giant Neptune is the eighth and the most distant planet 
from the sun more than 30 times as far from the sun and earth Neptune is the only planet in our solar system that is not visible to the naked eye but it's the first one that is predicted by mathematics before its discovery in 2011 Neptune completed its first 165 year orbit since its discovery in 1846 it has 14 moons takes a very long time to orbit the sun around 64 years to finish its orbit uh, compared to Mercury which is just 88 days the last time when Neptune is at the same place where is it now is before computers phones cars uh, what else airplanes were invented it was so long ago it has the longest orbit lah, in our solar system Neptune's atmosphere is made of hydrogen helium same uh, as the rest and methane these components specifically uh, give that darkish blue color for, for Neptune uh. this combination of gas uh, absorb red light and reflects blue light outwards not so visible to the naked eye lah. Uh, I think that's all the planets but I also want to mention this one Pluto very interesting story the Roman god of underworld uh, Pluto has a complex world of ice mountains uh, and frozen planets once considered the ninth planet but it, it was discovered in like 1930s uh, but in 2006 recently uh, okay, uh, declared as a dwarf planet along with other dwarf planets uh, because they share the same characteristic uh, it is small uh, smaller than Earth moon actually which is like uh, around one sixth of uh, uh, the width of the Earth, Charon, and is half of its uh, size, uh, one of the moons. Uh, the length of year is 248.89 Earth years. So I don't want to cover more on dwarf planets. If you guys are interested, you guys can, can check it out. So after 76 years of being discovered as a planet, Pluto was like kind of kicked up, uh, declared as a dwarf planet along with other dwarf planets. So I have this chart uh, just to sum up. So in summary, this is an image of the, how the planets line up in our solar system. So there are eight planets starting from Mercury, which is closest to the Sun, uh, but not the hottest, Venus the hottest, and Neptune, okay, which is further away from the Sun. The first four planets are made of rocks and metal. Remember this, huh? and they are mostly solid. They are called terrestrial planets. Uh, this is the asteroid by that separates four terrestrial planets and the outer planets. So the outer planets are the Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Huh? So they are called gas giants because they are made of uh, hydrogen, helium mostly, and uh, methane also. Okay, the last two planets, they're also called ice planets. So they, but they are also gas planets, okay? Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are gas planets, but Uranus and Neptune are ice planets. They are also called the ice giants because of the presence of ice. Huh? Now it's quiz time! All right, so you guys are in. Okay. It's, you can answer. Why do you answer this question? Why? Well, I can. I can. I can uh, yeah, You got 15 like, seconds. I cannot. Why, yeah? Uh? Only no. I can. They oh, said no. I can answer the question, but I didn't, so... Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Let's see. Oh, Which we have six. We got four, eh. Two never answer. No, I, I did. I, I don't even have uh, the option. Yeah, Hana and Hafiz cannot. I managed to enter mine. What is it? What about next one? Let's go next one. Uh, we get three point. We get three point lah. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Question two. Okay, next one. Let's go. Hafiz can try. Uh. Hana, can you try? Question two. Okay, question two. Got it. It's the smallest. Why is the smallest? Just now is the biggest. Why is the smallest? Yeah, now I can. Okay, good. Later I give you the point lah. First one. Hey, first hey, one hey. Is... Why can I submit? Again. Submit, come on, submit, Hafiz. No, the submit button refuses to work. Yo, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Yeah. <laughs> okay, got three, six. Okay, we got six. Uh. So it's, it's uh, yeah, correct. Uh. Who said Pluto? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> Pluto, thought, yes. Pluto, that's true. But prior yeah, to lo. 2006. Yes. Okay, so everybody uh, got two points, right? Let's see that. Let's see. Yes. All right. So just now, Hana, I give you... So, oh, Hana yeah. got one point. And how to add uh, here? No, at the left side. The beside the This side. Yeah. The, no, no, no. You scroll over her name. Uh -huh. the, uh, points up, points up. Oh, points up. So, Hana, you yeah. answer Pluto, is it? Yeah, 100. <laughs> so, I should get 100 also. Yeah, uh, because it's not fair, right? The, the thing didn't uh, even look at me. Hafiz, 100, blame me on the system. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. All right, okay, let's okay. go. To the third question. More MCQ, please. Fill in oh. the sequence. Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune. Hey, hey, 
It's one only, right? One planet only, right? One only lah. I see. In between, what is in between Saturn and Neptune? The two scared me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, uh, Venus. Right? I- I st- <laughs> oh, actually, uh, actually uh, I give you a clue. You, know. you see the dash dash dash, right? It's a corresponds to the number of alphabets. Oh. Uh, oh must must sketch. Uh. Who see Jupiter? I put Jupiter here already. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you know what is that? Copy, 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 Roger, right? <laughs> no. I got the six letter word. Sequence, sequence. Like. Okay, sequence, sequence. You want to recap? We have Sun. Next is. Mercury. Mercury. Mercury, correct. Third is Venus. 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 Then Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Okay, <laughs> next one. Wow, happy is ah, Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> Question four: Which one of these statements is false about Venus? I give you MCQ now. Okay. Oh, okay. It is the second brightest <laughs> object in the sky. There are acid rain on Venus due to the presence of carbon dioxide. Not the closest to the sun, but it's the hottest planet. Its length of year is 255 Earth days, which is false. Five seconds. Time's up. It. Oh. Wow. Only, only one. I also pressed the. I pressed the last one. Huh? My answer is the last. The last one. Why? Why the last one? Because it's the second planet. Uh, as it as it is the second planet to the sun. Uh, so it couldn't be that many of these. Yeah. True. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So who did not answer? I couldn't answer. I didn't log in my answer. My answer also not log in. Eh. So <gasps> the answer is the last one. Why? Because it's not two five five. It's two two five. No. Oh. oh. I I get 100 points. <laughs> yeah, okay lah, okay lah. Give you lah, give you lah, give you. Lah. <laughs> who wants point? Who wants point? Oh, that that was tricky, man. I got uh, tricky. Because five also looks like two, right? So yeah. okay. So who can answer? Uh? Integrity, yeah, uh, guys. Ah, uh? integrity. Who? Hana, is it? Yeah, I could answer. Uh, but is that your answer? Yeah. Okay, I'll give you 100 points. Oh, uh, guys, just now it's the same thing because we, Hana and I couldn't answer the first because it was never given to us. The, the, oh, okay, the, the, okay, the, okay. But you got your points lah. Mm. Right. <laughs> Come on, guys. The next question, question number five. Answer before the time runs out. And your question is, there are two planets in our solar system that contains a large amount of ice and they are even called ice giants. Very easy. Name any one of them. Irritating lah. Roger will excel this, ah, uh, Roger, right? Ah, uh, Roger, yeah. no, oh. oh, the trick question was tough. Trick question, ah, uh, uh, okay. Hey, think the... no. Neptune, right. Neptune, yeah, <laughs> Jupiter, Saturn. Who, who try, try their luck, ah? Uh. <laughs> I thought I had to name two. Uh, no, uh, uh, name any one of them. Name any one. Yeah, but but both wrong. Uh. No, uh, uh, Jupiter and Saturn are gas giants. All right. Remember, after the asteroid belts, all of the planets, okay, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus are all gas. So technically, yeah, you're in the right uh, area, outer planet, the closest planet lah, which is furthest away from the sun. So Jupiter, no. It's a, it's a good way to to you know. Uh, to reinforce the learning, uh, which is good. Come on, it's okay. Next one, keep on persevering. The next question, question number six, and your question is: If the four planets further away from the sun after the asteroid belt are called outer planets, what do you call the first four planets closest to the sun? There's a name for these four planets, right? Okay, what is that name? Just one word. Just need one word. But the spelling, the spelling, I don't know what it's called. It's called Inner Planets. Can uh, I get it? Inner Planets! Oh, <laughs> terrestrial! Okay, I'll give all of you points. Lah. Right, it's Terrestrial Planets. Okay, yeah. Outer Planets and Terrestrial Planets. So, who needs points? The rest of us, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Roger's catch it. Roger. <laughs> Rayan also okay. Never mind. I won't penalize you for for spelling, okay? <laughs> Because I saw sometimes might get it wrong. Is it one R? Yes, so sure. one two. Nice no, two R's. Yeah. Two the R's. rest here. Go go on. What go R? And then there's a silent T at the back. Yeah, terrestrial. Terrestrial. Alright, baby. 
Okay, let's move on. Question number seven. And your question is... Mars is a cold and rocky planet. And it's also known as the red planet due to the presence of iron oxide in its soil. What is the common term for iron oxide? Just one word. What? What is what? the common term of iron oxide? What? Mm. What is that? What's, what? <laughs> What do you call iron oxide? Alama, habis, you all don't get it. Rust, uh, correct! No. Fe2O3 also can, lah, it's iron, but it's not a common term, that's chemical term. Lah. Who's that? Lah? <laughs> Who put Me! That? I remember you said it's Feo2O3. Yeah, right. like yeah, yeah that, that's iron oxide, lah, but I want to know a common term because it's uh, red. Ah, common term is rust, okay? So who Alamak. get correct? correct? Me, 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 me. Oh, not bad, rust. Iron oxide is rust. Okay, but iron, uh, some rust is also green. You know why? Mm. Because it's not iron oxide, it's, it's, it's some kind of a ferrite. Different la. chemicals. Yeah. yeah, different chemicals because uh, I think lack of oxygen, that's why it turns to green. Right? You all take chemistry, right? All. Uh, that's why the mass is red because it's like filled with iron oxide, which is like the rust all over the soil, la, you know, inside <laughs> the soil. All right. So, Claudia, not bad. Hafiz <gasps> is back in business. I see. Claudia is my competition. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, question eight. Which one of these statements is false about mercury? Mercury. Is that how you uh, pronounce it? Mercury. Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, but it's not the hottest. There is an atmosphere in mercury, but it's not the breathable by humans. There are extreme temperatures on mercury, hot and icy. It's the finest planet in our solar system to orbit the sun. Choose one. Choose one. Choose. God, the timing too short. La. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I read already. I finished here. Yeah. I verbalize it. You all need to scan only. Why? Why? It's no atmosphere at all. There's yeah. no atmosphere. Correct. It's not hot. Yes, you guys are listening. Good. So that's why it's not as hot. Uh, mm. Alright. Alright, cool. It's getting hot in here. Oh, happy so happy only. Yeah. <laughs> God, correct. Okay. Happy, yeah, that guy. Okay. Question number nine. The sun is the largest object within our solar system. It is a hot ball of glowing gases comprised of hydrogen and... What other gas? Helium. Helium. <laughs> <laughs> no, helium is a drug. Did you know that? It sounds like that. It sounds like that. Helium, correct. Everybody got uh, it right. Yeah. Well done, people. Coming up, coming up. Oh, not bad, H not bad. H e, right? yeah. yeah, H and H-E, correct. Yeah. Alright. Question number 10. This is for the final one. Apart from the sun and earth, all the other planets are named after gods. All of them are Roman gods except one. Which planet is that? All of them are Roman gods, uh, but except one. Which one? Which one? It's not sun and earth. Uh. Don't tell me sun and earth. Uh. They are not gods. Uh. They're not named after gods. Let's see. It is Uranus. That's correct. Saturn is also a Roman. Pluto is also a Roman god. Uh, Uranus is a Greek god. Ah. Greek god. Ah, it's from Greece. Uh. The rest all from Italy. <laughs> all right. Okay. Let's see the scores. Dang it. We have Claudia. Hey. Ooh, the ghost. The ghost. <laughs> Claudia, the girl is the winner today. Oh. So, Claudia, you want to say something? <laughs> I want to thank my parents and <laughs> everyone else. Are you into astronomy? Mm, I used to. Okay, that's the end for the quiz. Thank you for watching this video and we hope you learn a thing or two about today's uh, subject. We'll see you again in the next episode. And in the meantime, take care and we'll see you again soon, guys. Bye-bye. Uh, recently, they discovered like 26 uh, exoplanets that is livable. You know, what, what, what do I mean by exoplanets? These planets are better than Earth. So in terms of, they, they have like water, they have atmosphere, basically what Earth can, can offer us. Uh. But the problem is, they are so far away, which I don't think we can travel there, you know? Uh, so you imagine like a place uh, in a rainforest right? then you can see like three or four moons which is very big then you, you, uh, there's alien animals or whatever creatures walking around so yeah so if you're interested in exoplanets uh, you can check that out uh, but it's impossible to travel uh, you know it's so far away right they're in the same galaxy this exoplanet uh, no it's out of um, our solar system it's very far I think the nearest one is like 
uh, in at least like 20 or 30 light years. You know, like one light years is equivalent to maybe 6.5, 6.7, trillion kilometers. <laughs> trillion, you know, trillion. How many zeros now? Million got six zero. Trillion is like double now. Trillion is like 12 zeros so far. And it's just some of them are bigger than Earth, and some of them has bigger sun. Means it can last longer. It can last longer. So interesting. Check it out. Exoplanets. <laughs>